it's November 12th, day one in Kansas. I couldn't be more excited, man. Losers. set up for the afternoon same stand before I got down this morning we did some trimming and Tracy actually sprinkled a little corn out here in case something comes through fast they'll slow down hopefully getting ready to head out it's uh i guess it's the 13th i'm gonna go back to the same stand i'm gonna try it one more time while we have a north-ish wind it's very light today yesterday was brutal we still saw plenty of deer good action
decided that it was time to break the ice. I had those does here for an hour. I was kind of using them as bait there for hoping something would show up, but there was one really big doe in there. And man, I'm shaking. They kept coming and going, coming and going, and then I decided, you know what? If she gives me a real good shot, I'm gonna take it. I believe I did make a good shot. It looked a little high, but they ran across the field. They're still messing around over there, just kind of wandering. I gotta wonder if she's laying right there. But, oh my God, I'm shaking. Oh, there's a deer cruising. It's actually a coyote a couple hundred yards away. That's not good, he's going right towards the doe. There's another one. There's a couple coyotes going down that field edge. Here comes another coyote. Oh, this is getting a little crazy now. I do not want to lose this deer to those coyotes. They're going right for her. I don't know where she is, but it certainly looks like they're headed right towards where she would be laying. If she is laying right there because the arrow is stuck in the ground, it blew right through her. And there's a ton of blood right there where I hit her. I think those coyote, coyotes are on her. I'm pretty sure we got coyotes on this deer already. So, there's blood here. You can hear him yipping in the timber. You got Tracy and Dawson. Blood. Well, these coyotes really screwed this up. Afternoon, day two. I have my mobile set up on my back. I'm gonna hunt a cedar tree that I hunted like five years ago back here. it's November 14th. It's third day. I think it's like 45 degrees. It's about 10 minutes to 8. I had a doe come up behind me and I had a buck cruise the bench. A nice eight pointer, not a shooter eight pointer, at least not yet anyway, but a real nice high rack eight pointer. Sunday afternoon. I'm kind of on a doe mission today. I just wanted to have a spot where I could see and maybe see a buck moving along a hedgerow or something. This is going to be an action camera hunt and some cell phone footage like I'm using. Got a big buck coming. I don't know how big, but... I didn't see him, he passed. 
just north of me until he was right downwind to me by the time I got the camera on him and everything. He was pretty much out of sight, but it was that big crab claw buck. He's a big buck. He's a lot bigger than he looks in pictures. It's uh, afternoon, Monday, and I am in the same stand I was in last night. I saw all them deer. I know I didn't get my camera arm in the tree yesterday. I don't know why. I guess I didn't try hard enough because I got it in here today and it's fine. <laughs> it's 69 degrees right now. Tracy said a landowner wanted deer killed, so I wanted to get Ryan some meat. It was a perfect opportunity. It's Tuesday morning, November 16th. It's about 42 degrees. But it's supposed to get up to 71 today, I think. All right, it's the uh, it's the afternoon, November 16th, day five. It's like 71 degrees right now, so. This strong south wind we didn't have a lot of options so we're just trying something off the cuff here something I don't do very often I'm hunting on the ground and I'm hunting a hedgerow between a green field above me there's a grass field prairie grass field it's a hedgerow that connects two big blocks of timber in the east and the west I got a scrape right over here by this tree that's down it's just just a shot. Let's try something different. So anyway, I'm just going to stand here. I got about an hour and a half till dark and uh, see what happens.
almost worked. I shot just under that buck. I think it was a little further than he looked. God dang it. What a cool hunt, though. Dang. Wow. Talk about exciting. That's one I'll never forget. That's the, probably the biggest deer that I've ever shot at. And I shot just under him. God. Well, here's my arrow. I paced it off. It was about right about 30 yards. Oh my God. What a hunt. I'm not even, I mean, I'm disappointed, but I'm not super disappointed. I guess, I mean, he was 30 yards, paced it off. And I guess being on the ground and him being so big, maybe he just appeared closer, I don't know. I shot a good shot, I mean, it was right on line, but it was just under him. Dang it, what a cool hunt. But I have a, I have a plan now for, for maybe Friday. If he's hanging around that area, there was a bunch of does to the north, so that's probably why he was there, and he was following a doe in the first place, so a little disappointed, but not real disappointed. Oh, well, tomorrow's another day. November 17th, and it is brutal, brutal windy. And the 9 o'clock update is I have not seen a thing. Okay, so here's the plan for this afternoon. I was over there yesterday by that cluster of downed trees right there. And that buck came along that fence line and he came to me and that's where I missed him. So the wind is north today so I can't be over there. So I'm over here with the decoy. I have a blind right over here on the other side. So far the only thing I've seen is does across the fence. I did see one big rack buck about 500 yards away. Just caught a quick glimpse of him. It's winding down here in Kansas. Second to last day. Thursday morning, November 18th. Thursday afternoon. I'm gonna try the ground game again today. I got tonight and all day tomorrow and I'm heading back to New York, so. It's November 19th, day eight of my Kansas trip. The last morning. This is it. This spot has been good to me. I've actually killed two mainframe ten pointers with three stickers out of this spot on the last day of the hunt. I was gonna shoot that buck, but it just never gave me a good angle. Last year, I had that one flirting with me early, too. And I ended up killing a better buck later, so 
We'll see if history repeats. Just had another buck come up the hill about 50 yards south of me. Dang it. It's three bucks already. I haven't seen a doe yet. And they're getting bigger. Every one I see is a little bigger than the next, so maybe the next one will be bigger and closer and give me a shot. having a little snack i think it's about 10 30. i've seen six does and five bucks almost released an arrow this morning I passed on that little seven pointer and i went by about an hour ago there was a bigger one with him up on the hill but i don't know whatever became of the big one i would have shot that one i saw him about 100 yards away and he had a big neck and it was at least an eight pointer probably going to sit till one or two so at least if not all day tracy just uh recording an insane buck fight between two giant bucks on his phone sent it to me crazy i'll have to include it in the this video when i put it together anyway last day be cool to kill a midday buck i don't think i've ever killed one midday i don't know if i've ever killed a buck like beyond 10 o'clock in the morning in 40 something years of hunting and i put some all day sits in it just never seems to work out for me well, it's about one o'clock now. So I've decided I'm gonna sit here all day. This might not be my last day. I might have gotten a hall pass for three more days. We'll see if it's gonna work out. As of right now, I'm not sure. It's about three o'clock now. I've not seen a deer since about 10 o'clock. I just found out that today is not my last day. Looks like I'm gonna be staying for three more full days of hunting. I can be a little more selective now. I mean, Tracy get to hang out and enjoy each other's company for three more days and hunt and laugh and just have a good time so that's real cool well it's just before five o'clock and i have yet to see a deer since about 10 30 this morning this is why i don't do all day sets i mean i still have some time i still have a good half hour probably i don't know how guys do it day after day after day after day it's just that's not enjoyable to me i'd rather go home and eat chill out figure out a strategy for an afternoon sit and go sit i just don't have i never have good luck with all day sits midday sits like i said i got about a half hour left so it's november 20th and this is supposed to be the day that i was to head home but thanks to a very loving and understanding family and hosts here in kansas i can't thank them all enough I'm gonna be here for three more days. It's about 40 degrees this morning. There's a slight breeze out of the south. Tracy had deer this morning over by him. He's not that far away. So let's see, let's see if we can get this tag filled.
want it to go down, but she's down right there. She was walking straight away from me, just slightly quartering, so I tried to slide it right along her spine, and I spined her. So, I had to shoot again. I don't like for that to happen, but anyway, happy to get the doe tag filled. Tracy should be here soon. And he shot one this morning too, so we doubled up. I get down now. It came right here. Oh my god. He, he came up and he was standing right here. Right there. It, he was a little bit closer, but he was facing me. When he was walking in, he was kind of broadside. And then he turned and he faced me, and that's why I said I had that about 20 yard wow. shot. And then he faced me, and then he stood there, and then that other bruiser buck came up behind him and stopped about right there and just started blowing at him. Ah, ah. And then he took steps forward, and then that big boy shot forward, and then he chased him. <laughs> and he ran right through here at a fast, you know, not yeah. a run, but a trot. There's the stand. There it is. <laughs> wow. 15 yard shot. Yeah. And then Big Boy came down and stood right there forever facing me. He's sitting there panting too, blood running off his face and everything out of his mouth. Both of them had bloody mouth. Wow. It's all part of the story, buddy. That's why I love it. Surprisingly slow morning. Well, it's 3.30. I'm back in the stand. This is it, the last morning of overtime. The real last morning, day 11. I'm gonna go for broke today. I could go to a comfortable spot where I usually end my trips, but in the timber, but I'm gonna try something different today, something I've been wanting to try to do for about a week now. It's where I uh, had that great opportunity a few days back with that big buck. Anyway, I'm gonna set up over a decoy this time though. I'm gonna have the decoy, I gotta, drill and peg the tree i'm going to go up and set the mobile stand use the woodpecker system to get up there but i'm going to drill it and drop the bolts in as i go up set the stand and uh, set up over a decoy on that fence line go for broke i've been wanting to do it so i'm going to do it i'm going down swinging
400 yards south and I rattled to him just before he disappeared but then uh, another doe showed up over here to the west of me I started rattling and I waited a while and there he was he, he'd come up out of that bottom over there and he was standing on the edge looking right this way he was a good buck he was at least 10 points he was heavy wide not not overly long tined but a snort wheezed at him but he kept going to the west and he disappeared in this tree line here it's after nine o'clock now so it's getting windy cold that was a good buck that would have been awesome if he come to this decoy dang it well this is it my last chance last afternoon day 11 can't believe i've been here this long I'm going back to the same set i was in this morning it's that last day i guess that was weird feelings about leaving I hate to leave, but I can't wait to get home. I miss my family bad. But I get emotional about leaving Tracy too and Marla. They're so good to me when I come here. I just gotta be positive. Could happen at any second. I'm gonna set that decoy back out and uh, probably do some rattling. cedars there's a doe on the pond 